And I'm like, what if they don't hire me because of my anxiety? Which, I know, that's discrimination. But it's something that I do worry about. Of course, anxiety would worry about anxiety. Duh. Good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? Riddler's doing snore. Sassy's doing sleep. And then Morel over there, he's getting, he's doing get to sleep. So, right now I am uploading yesterday's vlog. Yay! And it's a lot longer than my vlogs have been lately. Probably because I got to be at home and actually, you know, record stuff. And actually had the energy to do things. So, wow. But on an upside... My last day at the preschool is tomorrow, so, woo! Um, today was alright. Um, somebody from the state came, and then the boss and the director just got really pissy about things. Like, I was even called being childish because I didn't call someone to let me have a lunch break on Tuesday. Even though I was alone with 19 children, I could not leave them alone, and I knew that the rest of the teachers were spread thin. But the fact that this comment came from the director who I am friends with really bothered me. And I'm just like, why are you doing this? And then, word's going around that some of the other teachers are also just getting treated like crap. Like one that I talked to, she was sick the past couple of days. And she thinks that she's being punished now because she's having to work 10 hours. And she got chewed out for doing things the way that... Her lead teacher taught her. She's an assistant teacher. And just uh, all sorts of horrible things. I'm kind of starting to think it's more like a corrupt system. But what can you do? They're going to lie and say that, oh, no, none of this happened. We're all just good people here. But we know the truth. So, but yeah. Then came home, had dinner, worked on the vlog. That kind of fun jazz. So, clearly it's been a very exciting, exciting day. Um, but I was kind of thinking, I have another week until my official interview with the for the chemist position. Um, <laughs> and I happen to think, I'm like, you know, I probably need a week to be able to fully mentally recover from what happened the past two weeks. Because even though I took off yesterday, I still don't feel like I fully recovered. Like, oh my gosh, the amount of stress was horrible. And, of course, with having an anxiety disorder and panic disorder, that just makes it all the more worse. Because you're already getting enough energy sucked out of you because your brain won't shut up. But include a high level of stress. And I was never able to use my normal coping mechanism which is usually to go into a bathroom by myself and just you know take some time to be alone well I could never do that because I have to be with my kids so <laughs> stress just constantly building and building and building and uh, it's just ridiculous like and it's funny cause I'm like the director knows about my anxiety. Because she knows why I have MRL. But that doesn't matter. And of course, when I apply for jobs, I don't mention my anxiety. There's some that ask, like, if you have a disability and depression and PTSD is usually on that list and bipolar, I think. Anxiety is never on the list. And I'm like, what if they don't hire me because of my anxiety? Which I know that's discrimination, but it's something that I do worry about. Of course, anxiety would worry about anxiety. Duh. But, I mean, that is something that I think about. Is what if a company literally says no to me just because of my anxiety? I've already had job offers turned down, like, job applications turned down because I'm overqualified with my bachelor's degree. So I'm like, they already don't want to pay me a lot. If they knew that I had anxiety, they'd probably think I can't handle it. 
but I don't know. I just hate that with this job, I was never able to fully calm down. Like, I take a moment to take a couple of deep breaths, but I never could have the time to completely and fully calm down. Which is why going into a bathroom by myself is so helpful. Um, preferably one where, you know, it's just one bathroom. I could lock the door. But I'll take stalls too, that's fine. As long as I can have walls. So... Yeah, I'm just, I'm very glad to be leaving this job. Um, I'll miss the people I worked with. They were great. Like the other teachers, they were super nice. I loved getting to know them. And some of them I got to know their kids too. It was great, but I can't work there anymore. But at least until I get another full-time job, I'll have Blue Buffalo. So that's always a good thing. But now I'm super tired and I still have about 30 minutes until my vlog finishes uploading. So I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is if you are at work, if you have a job and like you have some kind of attack or episode or something kick up, say, you know, really high anxiety or depressive episode or something. What is one of your coping strategies? for dealing with an episode, attack, whatever, in the workplace. I mentioned one of mine was hiding. Another one of mine is stepping outside. I think that's kind of an isolation thing too, but I mean, it works. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Sassy. Good night, Emeril.